Welcome back, VA user. In today's session, uh, we are going to discuss about the procurement process, right? So in this video, we are going to cover the minimum steps to cover the entire procurement. That is basically starting from the purchase order and to generate the GRN and the AP invoices. As a result of these, there are certain matched PO and the match invoice transaction that would be automatically generated by the system. Purchase process or a procurement process itself is a very complicated process and it all depends on to the number of modules that you have, which kind of industry you belongs to. Let's suppose you belongs to a manufacturing industry. Okay. Now in terms of the manufacturing industry, it is very important to plan your items, right? So you must have a material requirement planning module. As a result of material requirement planning, you would be able to generate the purchase orders or you would be able to generate the purchase requisitions. Now, there can be a possibility, these, these are the further possibilities, then from the requisition you want to generate the RFQ for the vendors, you want to inquire about the prices of the vendors and once you will get the accurate prices from the vendor, then you will choose a certain winner and, and then you would generate a purchase order. Or there can be a possibility you can generate the purchase order from the purchase requisition that is again one of the possibility or you would generate the blanket purchase order and then you will release the purchase order so it's itself the procurement process is going to be a very complicated process and that all depends which kind of industry you belongs to now in today's session we are you know covering minimum step let's suppose if i'm belongs to apparel industry i just want to you know or, or, or electronic industry, I, I want to order certain items from my existing vendors to whom I'm purchasing the material from number of years and I don't want to change the vendor, I don't want to generate a RFQ or a requisition. So sometimes, yes, in this industry as well, you need to generate the requisition to control your budgets. That is one of the possibility. The another possibility, you would have uh, the budget controlling in terms of, you know, a commitment accounting you must have the reservations at the level of the requisition or there might be a certain uh, management approvals would be there at the level of the requisition so in today's session we are going to cover how we can generate a purchase order a manual purchase order then how we can generate a grn document or a material ship document and then how would we are able to generate a ap invoice document so let's move on to the system and we'll see Presently, I'm at my landing page that is of IDS Inc. Admin and here I do have certain products available. I do have certain vendors available. So let's see how we can generate a purchase order into the VA system. So to generate the purchase order, we just need to search the purchase order window and open the purchase order window. Click on new record. and you would select your vendor okay so you you can enter your order reference let's say uh, this purchase order is because of a certain sales order you would be able to do so and as also you know from the sales order you can generate the purchase order the possibility is there into the va system i'll discuss all those into the pre uh, next uh, video or or the upcoming videos so we'll we'll enter here the order reference uh, well, let's suppose it is from the SO and then you would be able to enter that for which organization you are generating so you just need to log in in that organization and you need to select that organization your document type so by default there are two document types one is the purchase order one is the release purchase order if it is a release purchase order it is mandatory to select a blanket purchase order okay let's now next We'll move on to the vendor. So if you remember your vendor name, then you can directly search it out there. Let's say input sales. So if I have input sales inclusive, I remember then I would be able to search it directly. Otherwise, you would be able to open the pop up and you can search it out. So the system will pick up all the data from the masters and uh, you, you just need to save the data. But there can be a possibility you might have a different uh, locations of the same vendors. So you just need to select the relevant location and the relevant user if there is any user maintained. I do not have any user maintained so I am not going to do anything. 
so here the person who is entering so i have logged in with the id sync admin so the representative would come in in such a way the priority of the order you would be able to select uh, for which warehouse you are generating this so i'm generating uh, for the hq warehouse and what is going to be the payment method a grid payment method okay so the currency would pop up as a selection of the price list and then the currency type if you want to change the currency type you would be able to do so if you want to change the price list you would be able to make the changes into the price list and accordingly the currency will be updated by the system so once it is done save this and move on to your purchase order line so i am now at the po line i would be able to select my product or the charges so i am going to select my product called lc connectors so here as a result of my product you would be able to see everything gets automatically populated by the system so here is still i am going to purchase 500 quantities of this particular product so i would be able to save this and save it out the next one is basically i want ac connectors so i would be able to do so and will say 100 quantities of this and if you want to change the unit of measurement if there is a conversion involved then you would be able to select and accordingly the system will change the prices and and the quantities into into the v system so here it is and it is done uh, appropriate tax rate you just need to select so i'm selecting presently uh, none uh, as there is no tax is, is involved so if you can see now i have two products available so one is sc connector one is lc connectors and rest are basically the read only tabs so you move on to the purchase order header you will complete it out and say complete so once the purchase order is processed or the document status becomes completed it means the document is finalized now you would be able to take the print out now take the print onto the paper and send it to to the vendor or you would be able to send the email to the vendor so you would be able to directly send the email so you would have the icon here email click on this email and you would be able to send the email to the vendor okay and you can say here send print format as an attachment so you just need to select here as pdf okay so this is the way how you would be able to you know process the purchase order so once the order is processed now we just need to wait you know we, we need to understand that the purchase order the grn and the ap invoice <coughs> there are three different departments involved to you know accomplish this these entries now the purchase order it would be entered by the purchase department now the warehouse department or the store department would receive the material so let's suppose i'm processing everything into a single day but it used to take a certain time because uh, you you know the date promised accordingly entered here now let's say uh, the material is received now it is at my factory location or at my warehouse location then the warehouse department responsibility to take that grn and uh, that is also known as uh, good receipt note or a material receipt so we'll say material receipt and we'll open the material receipt now uh, now when you uh, receive the material at that moment of time you will receive this delivery order from uh, from the vendor in that your purchase order number is always uh, referenced to uh, the vendor name would be there so we'll say here the new record and here the vendor is input sales so i would say input sales so input sales i will select my vendor i will enter my date accordingly as the date is mentioned onto the onto the grn uh, document or to the delivery order document that are received by the warehouse department uh, organization naturally you just need to select then a uh, move on to delivery where you are receiving this delivery you will say i'm receiving this delivery at the hq warehouse and thereafter you just need to save and click on create lines from so once you will say create lines from so you just need to click on to the order you would be able to select 
the relevant order here which is mentioned into the delivery order print format that came to you for for your sign so you would be able to select it so once you select all the products would be there and uh, thereafter you would be able to you know select the locator in which you are receiving so generally at the warehouse first is one of the locator is receiving locator where you receives and thereafter you will you know place that uh, material to the relevant locators now you would be able to select all your material if you want to select a specific material then you would be able to if you want to change the quantity you would be able to make the changes into the quantity if the material contains a certain attribute then you would be able to select the attribute here so attribute pop-up would come so both the material I do not have and I just want to select both of them so I will say okay so once I will say okay I would be able to see all my details at the receipt line as a result uh, my GRM document is uh, prepared ready for for completion so you just come here and say complete so once it is completed it means the cost calculated by the system and also the stock is updated into the warehouse so it is done so once it is done thereafter the last step is to enter the AP invoices or the vendor invoices received from the vendor so the vendor invoices normally you know when uh, when the accounts department receive they also receive the delivery order copy as well so they would be able to see that against this purchase order what delivery used to come so uh, they would be able to get all those necessary information from that particular place now since it is uh, generated by the accounts department there are two way out one is you will directly click on to the generate invoice process okay or you will open the vendor invoice window and there is also one of the important thing as a result of the purchase order and GRN completion at the background there is a match PO entry generated by the system so you would be able to see that or if you want to see the matched PO uh, entry you would come to the match purchase orders window and you would be able to see here now why the match purchase order entered there is a reason that if you want to capture the purchase price variances into the system and you want to post your GRM document based on the cost instead of the purchase order unit price in such a case it is, it is very crucial because at this particular place the system records the purchase price variance and the purchase price variance offset now what's basically the purchase price variance the purchase price variance the organization used to track because it tells you that what kind of demand is available into the market okay if it is declining then you would have the variance into the other side if it is increasing then it is on to the other side so the other side when I say it is debit or credit okay now that is entered by the system so as I have mentioned that uh, you know once it is done uh, the GRN document is done then the user will come here and the finance user basically come here they will enter the actual vendor invoice reference that is available onto the actual invoice that you have received I have entered any number but you know normally the finance department used to enter the number that is available at the vendor invoice now select the vendor select your price list in the currencies and everything and the payment method that was agreed so I will say this and save this record thereafter you need to click on to the create lines from so once you will say create lines from then you would have three options so you can generate the lines from the order but I used to recommend not to use the order if your purchase order is against the charges or service kind of product or, or resource of or expenses type then it is okay uh, to select the orders since uh, you know, there might be a possibility for such a kind of products that some organization want to generate the GRN while some organization doesn't want to generate the GRN right so if it is item type product then it is recommended to select the uh, shipment or ship document and if you select this you would be able to get all the data of from the purchase order and the uh, receipt document that is the material receipt document you would be able to see that this is the data or this is this is the stock that you have received and you will say select all if you want to change the quantity you would be able to do so if you want to enter the you know, attribute you would be able to do so you can enter and once it is done say okay and as a result of this 
if I move on to the invoice line, I would be able to see. There might be a possibility because there are certain commodities where the user needs to make the changes into the price list because the purchase order price is not the actual prices. Uh, so there might be a possibility a change into the prices is, is there at the level of the AP invoice. You can do so. Whatever the difference would be there, the difference would be allocated to the, to the product cost accordingly. Right? So once it is done, then we just need to complete this, this particular record. So uh, that is how that is how you would be able you know, to run the entire purchase process. Okay, So this is the entire purchase process where the system starts uh, from the purchase order and then it moves on to the GRN document and then to the AP invoice. Into the upcoming video, we'll come up with some other uh, useful information for you. Till then, thanks, ciao, bye-bye.